Good morning. Welcome to today's edition of A Treasury of Daily Prayer. Uh, before we begin our devotion today, just would like to give you a little bit of uh, information here. Just a reminder that two of the three church councils of our tri-parish arrangement right now in vacancy have met. St. John's and Brewster's going to meet tonight. Um, but anyway, here is a... Uh, uh, tentative plan looking forward to for the month of May and the future, um, um, at least for the foreseen future. Um, wanting to do some things that are different and still do them safely, trying to get us together for uh, some public worship. Right now, the tentative plan is, uh, uh, is that on starting, we're going to be doing live stream worship every Sunday. Um, but we're going to add something on on, uh, on on Communion Sunday starting May 17th and then continuing into June starting with the first and the third Sundays of the month. We're going to be meeting in our respective church parking lots uh, for, uh, uh, for a modified worship in our cars with public address system, FM broadcasting to, to, so people can pick it up on their radios have a confessional service, uh, uh, scripture reading, short devotion, and celebrate Holy Communion on those Sundays in person, doing it drive through method, and we'll get directions out on how we're going to do that. Uh, but we're planning on doing tho on those things. Um, and that would be starting May 17th, the third Sunday of May, because we still kind of want to get this worked out on how to do it. Um, but that way, at least we'll be able to see each other from our vehicles and to, um, to have to receive Holy Communion in a safe and sanitary method. And uh, we'll explain more on how that's going on. But some light here at the end of the tunnel. Um, and again, we did this with the, uh, uh, again, consulting with some healthcare professionals on about about how to do this and stuff. And we, we we're for, fairly sure that we can do this, keeping all of the social distancing protocols and safety procedures. And so um, you'll be hearing more about this um, in the days to come too. And we'll get, we'll, we'll get this information out at the best as possible. Uh, just a reminder that actually it's probably going on right now, the funeral of Pastor Phil Henning's father, retired Pastor Tom Henning up at St. Paul's in New Ulm. We keep uh, Pastor Henning and his family in our prayers um, that the Lord comfort them with that certainty of the resurrection to eternal life and that blessed reunion in heaven. There is going to be a public um, funeral sometime in the future when all of these social distancing protocols are removed. Um, I'll keep you apprised on those things as well. Uh, St. John's Brewster, we're going to meet tonight and I'm in, 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 at uh, 6.30 um, and I'm looking, again we haven't discussed anything, but looking that St. John's is going to follow the same pro protocols as um, Zion of Cologne and Trinity of Winter. We're um, on the f first and third Sundays of the month we'll be having a Holy Communion um, and worshiping in the parking, in their parking lot out there too. Um, we'll try to figure that out. But uh, once again, we'll keep you apprised. With that, we'll begin today's devotion. I'm not the most patient guy. My family can attest to that. Whether or not patience is one of your virtues, it will most certainly be tested as we continue to endure all this isolation. Being cooped up at home with the same people for weeks on end is going to try our patience. Wanting to get back to work and school and sports and not being able to is going to try our patience. God's word says to us in Paul's letter to the Colossians, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Did you hear that? We are God's chosen people. We are holy and dearly loved. We are those things because of God's patience with us. He saw our sin, 
But rather than react quickly and in anger, he patiently bore with us and sent Jesus to take away our sins and give us the gift of heaven. And as God's children, we are different. Moved by the love of Jesus during this crisis, we have an opportunity to be kind and compassionate with others. We now get to model our Savior's goodness and gentleness, and especially his patience. God bless us as we patiently wait for him to deliver us from this current crisis and as we share patience with others. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your patience in sending Jesus to win our salvation. As your dear children, help us to share that same patience with others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow as we as we, we, we you get more information on how we'll be proceeding with ministry um, during this uh, uh, coronavirus crisis.